Hi friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is problems on edges. As we know, edges is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT, and placement trainings. In all the exams, minimum two to three questions will be asked. So let's understand the question and try to solve it here. So question number one is a very important question, and this kind of questions is nowadays getting asked in exam. So what is the question? Ram present ages three times. his son present age and 2/5 of his father present age so see here three person are there ram is there and then ram father is there and then ram son is there right so ram present age is three times his son present age and 2/5 of his father present age i can also write down ram present age is 2/5 of his father age and ram present age is three times of his son present age right so first line whatever they are telling we have mentioned it here right so this is the equation which we have framed with respect to father and son and there are three person father ram and son now let's read the next line the average of the present age all of all of them is 46 years average is also given 46 years what is the difference between ram son's present age and ram father present age so there is no data i mean there is no number given in the question except the average age so father present age ram present age and son present age is not given so let's assume the father present age is 15 so why i am assuming father present age is 15 or 15x we will take one variable because 15 will be divided by 5 we can even take 18 we can take 20 we can take 25 sorry 18 we cannot take because 18 will not be divided by 15 we can take 15 20 25 30 35 35 so whatever value you want to take you take the only condition it it should be divisible by 5 right so let's assume father age is 15 of x why we are assuming assuming 15 because 15 whatever number you are assuming that should be divisible by 5 now what will become ram age so ram age will become 2 by 5 into 15x that means nothing but 6x right now ram age is 3 times of his son age so ram age is what 6x and 3 into son so 3 this will get divided by 2 times that means son age will become what 2x so see we have got the present age of father ram and son in terms of a variable because there is no age given in the question right okay now what is my next line the average of the present age of all of them is 46 years now we know average will be equal to sum divided by number so average is given how much 46 and what about sum 15x plus 6x plus 2x, right? Ram is there, father is there, and son is there. So total age will be 15x plus 6x plus 2x, and divide by 3 because there are three in numbers, one, two, and three. Now you see, 46 into 3 will be equal to 15 plus 6 is 21, and 21 plus 2 will be 23. So 23 of x. Now 23 will divide 26 by two times. so the value of x will become what 6 now i can say ram father age will be 15 into 6 which is nothing but 90 years and now ram age will be 6 into 6 which is nothing but 36 years and what about son 2 into 6 because the value of x is what 6 so ram son age will be 12 years right so we have got the present age of father ram and his son right so ram's father age is 90 ram age is 36 years and the ram son age is 12 years now what has been asked in the question what is the difference between ram son's present age and ram's father present age so father age and son age difference has been asked so what is father age so father age is 90 and what about son age son age is 12 so if you'll subtract 10 minus 2 is 8 and 8 minus 1 will be 7 so the difference between 
Ram's father age and son age will be 78 years. Now you see where is the option 78 years? So there is no option 78 years. That means the answer will be none of this or none will be the correct answer for this question. Question number two. Question number two is Kamala got married six years ago. Today her age is one one by four times her age at the time of marriage. Her son age is one by ten years her age. Her son age you have to find it out. So this question is like quite confusing if you read what we will do we will do one by one right okay. So Kamala got married six years ago. Today her age, today her age means present age. So today her age, so Kamala present age if you will talk. So today her age is 1 1 by 4. So 1 1 by 4 is nothing but 4 into 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5 by 4. So Kamala present age is 1 1 by 4 that means 5 by 4 times her age at the time of marriage. Right. So see I can write it like this. Kamala present age is equals to 5 by 4 of her age at marriage time. Right? Okay. So from here we got like this. Now I can write present age and divide by the age when she got married is 5 by 4. So the ratio between present age and the age when she got married is 5 by 4. So from this line we have got one equation you can say or we have got a ratio right so present age and the age when she got married is 5 by 4 ratio right okay now i can write down here present age and when she got married that time age is what 5 is to 4 ratio so what is the difference the difference is 1 see the present age is 5 and the age when she got married is what 4 so if we'll talk about the difference the difference is 1 right okay so Kamala got married 6 years ago so if you want the difference as 6 if you want the difference as 6 6 years ago means you want the difference as 6 then multiply here by 6 then here also you multiply by 6 then here also you multiply by 6 so this is 30 and this will be 24 4 into 6 is 24 5 into 6 is 30 right okay so Kamala got married 6 years ago so when Kamala got married 20 when she was 24 years old then she got married right okay and what about is today's the present age if we'll talk she is 30 years old right so whatever is given in the two lines from there we have concluded this first thing what we did we have got from this equation we have got a ratio means present age and married age is 5 is to 4 ratio right so the difference is what one see this we can take in terms of x also like 5x because when ratio is given when ratio is given and if you want to write down in terms of value then you can multiply 5x or 4x right so present age is 5x and the age when she got married is 4x the difference is what one if you want the difference as 6, see 6 years ago, then what you have to do? Just multiply here by 6, here also 6, here also 6. So present age of Kamala is nothing but 30 years old. Now her son age is 1 by 10 years of her age. So Kamala age is 30 and if we will talk about the son age, then 1 by 10 which will be nothing but 3 years. And what has been asked in the question? In the question they are asking her son present age. So her son present will be 3 years. Option B will be the correct answer for this question. I hope you understood the concept and the solution for this video. Thanks for watching the video.